YouTube family, what is going on? My name is Cameron, but you can call me Cam. And welcome back to the Prince Cam's channel. It's a new year, 2021, we finally made it. This is my first video of the new year. I'm so happy, I'm so blessed to have made this this far. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that's come back and watched my videos. I've not seen you guys since last year on my last video. And by the way, that video has reached over 100 views and I wanna thank all of you guys for supporting me throughout this channel. I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys gave on that video. Now, I know I'm making this video a little bit late. 11 days late. And I did not upload as much as I wanted to last year because, you know, I was still in school, I had a job, and I was doing a lot of extracurricular work. So, I just didn't have that much time to upload as I wanted to. It doesn't matter. We're here. We're in the new year. 2020 was a... Uh, it was a roller coaster, y'all. But I have faith in this year. I have faith that this channel is going to grow this year. If you guys are new to this channel, hello, my name is Cameron, but you can call me Cam. And again, welcome back to the Prince Cam's channel. On this channel, we talk about men's health, men's college advice, life advice, men's fashion. We talk about it all here on this channel. So if you want to be a part of this YouTube family, please click that subscribe button. Also, turn on that notification bell so you guys can get notified anytime I drop new content. If you guys like today's video, please leave a like as it shows your support. This is a new year for us, so there's going to be better content here on this channel. There's going to be better quality in each and every video, and there's going to be more, more videos on a constant basis. I'm not going to give myself a confirmed schedule just yet, but trust and believe you guys are going to get way more videos than you did last year. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five health tips for 2021. Now, if that sounds interesting, let's go ahead and get into it. But wait, since it's a new year, that means a new intro. that intro you guys liked it let me know if you did down in the comment section below the first health tip I'm gonna give you guys for the new year in 2021 is to create a schedule between eating and sleeping he said we're probably gonna be working a lot during these coming days weeks months or even the whole year and that starts with having a good schedule when it comes to sleeping and it comes to eating sleeping is very important I don't care what anybody says okay everybody needs sleep all right, you really need sleep between, you need six to eight hours of sleep every day. Me, I'm a college student, okay? So I usually work a lot when it comes to my classes, writing papers, or securing internships, scholarships, a lot of stuff I have to do every single day. I also make sure that I get enough sleep every night because if I don't get enough sleep, I'm gonna be real cranky in the morning and I'm gonna get real mad. I'm not gonna be able to go to class anymore. But I don't want that to happen. I want to graduate on time. So I need to create an efficient schedule between my work schedule. What I did was set an alarm to let myself know that, okay, I need to get into bed. I need to get enough sleep. That way when the next morning comes, I feel better and I feel energized. Although sleeping is very important, eating is also important too, guys. I know a lot of us, I've seen it. And a lot of people, I even done it myself to the point where we just started working a lot or we're caught up into other situations to the point where we even forget that we need to eat. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of people out there that work these jobs or they have these classes and it takes up so much time of their day that they forget like, oh, I have to eat or it's five o'clock, it's six o'clock and I need to eat or I haven't eaten yet. And I've done it myself. I used to work on a lot of essays and papers to the point where it would drag me out all the way up until like nine o'clock at night and I realized, oh my God, I only ate once today and I was at breakfast. Like, it shouldn't be like that. What I would do, I would just set an alarm for myself, like, hey, Cam, you need to go ahead and eat something. So I would just get up from my chair, go in the kitchen, grab me some eggs or some chicken and just throw it onto the stove, cook it, eat it. And I know for myself, personally, when this whole quarantine thing started, I started cooking for myself. I started making meals for myself every single day. And when I tell you I felt energized and I felt productive, that was the greatest feeling in the world. Or you could just door dash some food. I know that's what a lot of people are doing this year, so. If you guys want to be successful and you guys want to have a healthy mindset for this new year, please create a new schedule for yourself when it comes to eating and when it comes to sleeping. Number dos, write down small daily goals for yourself. We want to put our best foot forward, and I believe the best start to that is to create small and daily goals for ourselves. When you wake up in the morning, it makes you feel energized that you have a sense of purpose, and when you get up, you always have something to do. 
This could be anything from finishing that book that you wanted to read, learning a new skill, or just even waking up. That's a new goal for yourself. If you guys want to be healthy for this new year, try to create small and daily goals for yourself every day. And I know with myself personally, I just grab my planner that I have and I just try to create small, at least two to three goals for myself every day, whether that be waking up on time or creating stuff for my YouTube channel or getting closer to God. And by doing this, you guys, gave me a sense of purpose and also gave me a steady mindset as well. Number three is to take a mental break. By taking a mental break, I mean just being alone with yourself and enjoying your alone time. Last year was just filled with so much trauma, anxiety, worriness, and all this other stuff that was on a lot of people's minds. And it's just a lot of pressure on everybody. And I know with me too. But this year, when if you ever feel that way, you're feeling stressed or you're feeling anxiety or fear, anything like that, I want you guys just to take some time to yourself and just take a mental break. Whether that be from school, from work, from friends and family, everyone just needs time to themselves and just take a mental break. So what you can do is just go to the room, write in a journal, or guys, you guys can play video games. This will help you guys feel better and it will help take the edge off as well. On a more serious note, men, this right here, is just important as everything over here. So your mental health is just important as your physical health. And that's a very scary problem going on with a lot of men in America right now because they don't believe that this is important as this when it is, and it's a problem. So in the new year 2021, we need to take care of our minds as much as we take care of our bodies. So go to the gym, read a book, play 2K, Fortnite, anything. Just take that mental break by yourself. Number four on today's list is something that I really feel like I need to do more on a constant basis. Uh, <laughs> but number four is to create an exercise routine. Now in the last one, I talked about how mental health is just important as physical health and vice versa. Physical health is the same thing as taking care of your mental health. All right, go outside, you know, just run around your neighborhood just for a little while. You don't guys have to kill yourselves in the start, <laughs> okay? I know everyone in the beginning of the year, this new year, new me, I'm gonna go to the gym every day, I'm gonna work out every day, I'm gonna create some muscle for the summer, and they just end up quitting. <laughs> I know, I know that's been me. I've done that a lot of times, that's why I am, you know, that's how I am right now, but, I am start. I am starting to, uh, you know, create small, small, and I mean very small <laughs> exercise goals for myself. Like when I wake up in the morning, I try to do at least 10, 15 push-ups every day. I try to get myself there. Uh, it all just starts out, you know, small. I've been telling you guys this every single time. Just start out small, and then you guys can grow as time goes on. So, number five, take care of your skin. You wake up in the morning, guys. Make sure you wash your face. That way, it's not all crusty and dirty and after you get done washing it make sure you guys add an exfoliant or some type of oil or moisturizer to it so it won't end up all cracked and dust this let me tell you you will feel healthier you'll feel energized you will feel better all right guys so that's the end of today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video please please leave a like on today's video as it shows your support and if you're new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also turn on that notification bell so you guys get notified anytime I drop new content. And let me know which part of the video was your favorite today by leaving a comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and supporting the channel. 2021, it's gonna be a good year. All right guys, I'll see you guys on the next video.